What is up, players and players? Nils here from the Cool Pokey Player. We're going to talk about our eighth and final team, the mystery team. Cast the Nerd. That is right. You heard it here. Cast the Nerd. And we're going to get straight into the stats right now. There goes Cast the Nerd. That is a sick looking logo right there. Um, let me get right into the stats. And let's show those. Face Collab, we got four packs. Um, Pretty simple, 25, 50, and 75. You guys know how the breakdown is by now. Um, EX is on up, 25%. If you add hollow rares into it, 50. And if you add the reverse rares, we got 75. Um, competitive picks options, uh, for people that don't have too many, like I don't have too many statisticals on it, too much statistics on it. I like, them, I like the carving and I like the warp and damn as the comp pick. But Snivy is interesting. Because Snivy showed up in three out of his four packs. But what's more interesting was Snivy showed up twice in one of his packs. And it wasn't even a reverse. It was literally two Snivys in one pack. And it wasn't like one was the common and one was the reverse. No, it was just two common Snivys. I think that's rare within itself. So that's why I got Snivy on here. Snivy, technically, if you do do, if you take that statistic aside, Snivy pretty much showed up in every pack. So keep that in mind, Castle Nerd, when you pick in your comp pick for Fates Can Lie. Steam Siege, 11 packs open. EXs are higher. 18% uh, was an EX and a break that was pulled. If you add the hollow rares into the mix, that's 6 out of 11, 55%. And if you add those one point reverse rares, that turns to 7 11, 64%. And like I said, anything 50 or higher when you got a rare reverse or higher in steam siege is pretty dang amazing with how bad it's pull rate i can't express that enough if we're going with competitive picks for cast of nerd drift bloom and flappy should be highly considered i think i've seen five out the 11 on each of them five drift blooms five flappies has shown up out of these 11 packs so keep that in mind cast when you're um on week two when you gotta do steam siege for your competitive picks there um biggest odds because this um this cast the nerd is new and stuff like that i think for biggest odds i have them down as uh i'm trying to check right now base by i've got them 15 to 1 so pretty much right under right under holly po pony time mike's pokey tube i think gotta pull them all i had them at 15 to 1 odds too so I, the thing with cast the nerd i think that he has an advantage of to other people because the luck factor is average um luck factor is average the fan base is average it's, just, it's a three and but i feel like cast nerd i i feel like his luck hasn't come yet and I, I, that probably sounds dumb to say maybe the luck is saved for this havoc pack battle league right here so we will see how the i think his um team name is the Bettini Cobes uh, I'll leave it in the description I mean I know I'm gonna put it in the title once I figure it out I just can't remember for the time but I think it's the uh, Bettini Cobes so he's gonna lead the B star in the victory so let's see if Cast Nerd has what it takes if you think he has what it takes go after your man Sus subscribe to Cast Nerd as well as all the other PokeTubers if you feel like Cast Nerd is the one that's gonna win season one of Habit Pack Battle League sign up to your boy right there cast a nerd and cheer him on throughout his weeks but we will see week one does he has what it takes now he's going against hollow pony talk and i'm still choosing hollow pony talk to win that but i still don't mean that cast nerd could probably pull off an upset here so i am nearly from the cool pokey players and you guys all have a great day and thank you for watching